Hello, my friends. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God bless you on this Monday evening. We are in the 10 days of all. Wow. We are here in this high holy season. And yes, I know some of you are thinking, wait a minute, that's for our brothers and our sisters who are Jewish. But it's a time for us as well. It's a time where we can reflect. We can take some uh, introspective looks at ourselves and we can always remember, right? Because this is what um, Rosh Hashanah, you know, ushered in the 10 days of awe. And so it's 10 days into Yom Kippur, but the 10 days of awe um, bring us a time of repentance, a time of remembrance where we can remember the sounding of the shofar calls us to remember. Um, so remembrance, forgiveness. I'm sure there's someone that we can ask the Lord to help us to recall a person that we need to say I'm sorry to. Um, and then we can always, we can ask the Lord to refresh us. Uh, it's a call to repentance. I'm sure there's some things that we need to repent about. Um, so it's just all of those wonderful things. It's like wonderful R words. I was doing my my study earlier uh, this evening. And uh, let me see, I wasn't really planning on going into my journal with you, but let's see here. So I have Oh, wow. There were some questions that I was supposed to ask myself. And so are you all ready for some questions? Um, I know that's for me, but maybe you can use them as well. But Lord, what what areas of my life are not under God's dominion? Like what areas do I say? Well, let me just put that over here. And, you know, all this is yours, Lord, but this. So we want all of our areas of our life under his dominion. So an introspective look to, to ask you that. And then let's see here. What else? Oh, and I just said, Lord, what are the areas? Uh, let me see. What else? Time to rededicate. Maybe there's some kind of rededication to God that you want to do. Um, so rededicate, rededicate my life to Yeshua. Hallelujah. Um, and ask him to reign. There's all these R words, right? So rededication. Reign. Uh, let's see what else. Relationship. This is about a season of relationship, our relationship with God, and then our relationship with others. We as Christians, we see that as the cross, right? So it's the vertical and then the horizontal relationships. Um, let me see. And I already said this. We, you know, when where can I say I'm sorry? Where do I need to say I'm sorry? And then it's a call to repentance, a call to returning to God, um, and then uh, remembering, and then of course knowing that God will restore us. So the 10 days of all can bring us all of that. It's a time of, of reflection. I'm, I'm laughing because one of my coworkers who's Jewish, uh, I said to him, did you, did you go to the river? Did you go and throw some bread out? He goes, no, it's now. Only Orthodox Jews do that and you. <laughs> uh, but you know, we can cast some things to the sea of forgetfulness, Lord, we thank you. And um, we cast our cares upon you. And Lord, there's some th there are things that we hold on to. Just that bread that has a little leaven in it, <laughs> with that sin in it, we throw it in the water. Um, God is good. We know that Jesus is the redeemer. Yes, we do. Uh, but these are just symbols of reminders uh, that we need to let go of some things. There's some things we need to let go of. And so, uh, hi. <laughs> that was a long introduction for me saying, hi, how are you? Welcome to the rest stop. I am the Reverend Dr. Malachi Williams, and I'm so happy that you're here with me at the rest stop. So we give God praise. So let's do this tonight. Right. Let's do this tonight. Let us or today, whenever you see this, let us uh, go into the daily readings uh, on our Christian liturgical calendar. We have entered the 24th week of ordinary time. So yesterday ushered in the 24th week. Uh, and when we look at the daily readings today, I, I struggle because it's nightfall has already happened. And so uh, by the uh, Jewish 
a tradition. It's already the next day because night nightfall has already taken place. But I'm still here personally on September 18th. So we look in the daily readings today and let's pull up the Psalter reading. And that's just going to be our reading to take us into the week. Can we do that? Um, now, if you do read the lectionary, go back and read uh, yesterday's Sunday's Sunday's readings. Read that, and then uh, and then if you follow daily, you can follow the daily readings as well. So what we do here at the rest stop is we read from the lectionary. All right. So today's daily readings. There's several of them, but um, we have the Psalter, the 77th division of the Psalter. So that is Psalm 77. And we see that this is a Psalm of Asaph. It's not a Psalm of David, but it's one that comforts in trouble. And it's one that recalls the mighty deeds of God, right? So if you have a Bible, it might have that there for you at the title of this passage. So it recalls God's mighty deeds. And I, and I like this because um, the days of awe, our time to remember, recalling God's goodness, recalling um, the kingship of Jesus, right? He is Lord of lords and King of kings. Amen. And so it's recalling the, 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 the kingship of God. And so we can do that. And we can use this uh, as a way to take us into our week. Amen. So it's a long long text. Again, it's Psalm 77. We have the word of God say, amen, amen. And so here we go. Let's read this. Let's read it. And you can read it along with me if you like. And it reads thusly. My voice rises to God and I will cry aloud. My voice rises to God and he will listen to me. In the day of my trouble, I sought the Lord. In the night, my hand was stretched out and did not grow weary. My soul refused to be comforted. When I remember God, then I am restless. When I sigh, then my spirit feels weak. Selah. You have held my eyelids open. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, the years of long ago. I will remember my song in the night. I will meditate with my heart and my spirit ponders. Will the Lord reject forever? And will he never be favorable again? Has his favor ceased forever? Has his promise come to an end forever? Has God forgotten to be gracious or, or has he in anger withdrawn his compassion, Selah? Then I said, it is my grief that the right hand of the Most High has changed. I shall remember the deeds of the Lord, and I will certainly remember your wonders of old. I will meditate on your work and on your deeds with thanksgiving. Your way, God, is holy. What God is great like our God? You are the God who works wonders. You have made known your strength among the peoples. By your power, you have redeemed your people. The sons of Jacob and Joseph, Sila. The waters saw you, God. The waters saw you. They were in anguish. The ocean depths also trembled. The clouds poured out water. The sky sounded out. Your arrows flashed here and there. And the sound of your thunder was in the whirlwind. The lightning lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was in the sea and your paths 
in the mighty waters and your footprints were not known. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What a wonderful time of recollection of what the Lord uh, has done, had done in the life of the Israelites, right? Sometimes we can get overwhelmed. It felt a little overwhelming there um, for a minute, right? And so he started to get a little overwhelmed and then it was a kind of a hush moment, quiet moment. All right, wait a minute, take stock. Sila, Sila, Sela. Um, take stop, take a moment, rest, stop. And then recall the wonders of God. As you know, uh, yesterday's one of the two of the lectionary readings were from Exodus. So we see uh, God's people crossing through the Red Sea. And then also um, in Exodus 15, or at first it was 14. And then in 15, we see the song of Miriam. And so Miriam taking the women and they're singing and they're dancing and the tambourines, the horse and his rider, he is hurled into the sea. Lord is the sh my strength and my song, right? He has become my salvation. This is my God and I shall praise him, right? My father is God and I will exalt him. So you have all of the wonderful praise and adoration and the singing and you can see the twirling and all of that taking place in the scripture of the wonders of God, right? The sea stood up like a heap, right? And so we, we have that in the scripture. And then today in, in our readings, I believe, or yeah, I think it's in there in our in our dailies. Today, we also have um, the crossing of Joshua in the Jordan, right? Almost the same thing that happened at the Red Sea. Little different, little different. He had to put his foot in it before it opened up, right? So sometimes you got to step out on faith. Come on, come on, come on, people. You got to step out. Um, but um, but still the same wonder of God. And so we can recall the goodness of God. We can recall the wonder of God and all of his majesty. And so let's let that take us into the week, right? So I don't know what, what you're doing. I don't know if you you even uh, even think really about the 10 days of all. You know, sometimes we put that over and say, oh, that's what the Jewish people do, right? Um, but uh, I don't know. But each day you have a devotion and each day God is calling you, drawing you in closer to him. And there's something that happens in the presence of God. Um, and so let this be a, a part of your drawing into him and coming a little closer into him. And yeah, when life gets overwhelming and you just go, what in the world is happening? And you feel as though there's a whirlwind and there's so much happening. Rest, stop, take stock of the wonders of God. Amen. We had some rain out earlier today. It was pouring. It was pouring. And then all of a sudden, what did we see? Right outside, the rainbow of God, the promise of God. Right? Don't forget what the Bible says, what the rainbow represents. What the Bible says it represents God's promise. And so we're so grateful, so grateful that even um, when it feels as though life is so stormy and you feel like you're just wet, <laughs> lightning, thunder, and you just got it just wet. And there is a promise. And God is with us. Amen. There's the wonder. All right. Let's rest. Let's stop. And let's thank him for all the wonderful things that he does for us. Right. The awe of the Lord, the joy of the Lord, uh, the remembrance of God. All of that is our strength. He is our strength indeed. Amen. He's our strength. So let's rest and let's stop together. Amen. Okay. Hallelujah. When we think of the goodness of the Lord, oh my goodness, our souls 
just cry out hallelujah lord we're so grateful we're so grateful once again lord we thank you for this uh the 24th week of ordinary time father when we can stop and we can take stock of our lives and we can take an introspective look and also we can take an outside look as well and look around us and see those who are around us, Lord, and find ways to uh, be kind, compassionate, and considerate of others so that they may see you. Lord, help us. Help us uh, in this season, uh, this wonderful season, Father, as the seasons are actually changing. Um, and on Saturday, we will enter into the fall season on these this fall festivals, these high holy days. Lord, as the seasons change, Lord, help us, Lord, to enter into this new season with hearts that are open and full of gratitude. Help us to remember. Help us to repent. Help us, Lord, to Place everything in our lives under your domain, under your dominion, that you may rule and reign over us. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for all you do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen, my friends. Well, here we are uh, at the rest stop. But now we're going to leave the rest stop. <laughs> so I'll see you all at the next rest stop. Have a wonderful week and God bless you. Bye.